this is Thursday morning and we're going out for a lovely day it's a bit rainy every now and again but in between it's glorious sunshine so we're going to go out on the cruise ship over there this is the boat for the salmon farm we're going to go past that boat down Loch Melfort fishing possibly around into up to seal see how it goes uh, out on Loch Melfort Go forward, do the fishing. Back to Shuna could be a different planet, like a mill pond, no wind, sun still shining a bit. Not catching any fish, but don't forget to mention I'm beating the eight. Good so. Well, it's the last day on the island, <coughs> so I've come for a, a mooch about on my own, and these forests. It's, been walking for about half an hour. Haven't seen literally anything. It's so dense. It's absolutely gorgeous, proper wild forest. I've seen a couple of little birds. I'm hoping to see some deer. It's just lovely being here. Well, I've just stopped here. What a place this is. Just seen three or four deer. Just run down into those woods down there. I'm not going to go much further. I'm going to go up, back down towards our cottage. See what I can see. But oh, glorious day. See across the mainland. Our vans over there somewhere. It's gorgeous. And this is what they call Old Castle Farm. These must have been big old farms back in the, back in the day. Yeah, it's got some old house, house buildings, a lot left. to have been a house I think. I do know they did a lot of lime work in the 17, 1800s. So maybe it was a... Oh, look at that. Oh, that one is going past me. Just a boom, bam, bam, bam. Spent the night in a lay-by, beautiful lay-by, which I've got some drone footage of a couple of miles up there. It did team down last night, but this morning it's lovely. That's the Papa Glen Cow there. That's Glen Cow. And that's the way out. Goes to the Balakulish Bridge in a minute. Corran Ferry. It's gone up to bloody 18 pound, so it's quite per foot. It's quite dear, but it does save a long drive round. Here we are on the Corran Ferry. Doing a short trip. Parked 
up for dinner. It's a bit of a bird hide. Kind of a new step from Shuna. I'm going to walk down to the bird hide on Loch Sunart and see what we can see. Just coming down a boardwalk onto a bird hide, looking out over the island. It's all very well done. In the car park, you can park for seven pound a night. Only one van allowed in each car park, which is ace for people like us that don't like people by, by us. That's how you park a camper van, motorhome, in a tiny little car park. I don't think we've got anything left on the roof. <laughs> Coming down the lane, we came down to get to this car park. Some places it was tight for a push bike. And out the car park. To Castle Tyrium, we have boated up Flock Moy Dart, boated up, out, up and down there quite a few times. We're going to walk to the castle. Here we are at Castle Tyrium from the land side. A beautiful place. It only becomes a, an island at high tide. You can walk across at low tide. So we're going to be do the silly thing and wait till the tide comes in and see if we can race it back to the island as you do. We're going to get the kayak out to go around all these little islands. You can see such a big castle. Get in there. Kaz down there, he's only bought a rock climbing wellies. He's doing an ollie. Building. You can see now the tide's in. Let's go for that evening walk. Tide's in. Not quite made an island out of the castle, but it surely will once it gets to the top. We're going for a walk up this up this hill up here. Well, we just started the silver walk, which is part of the Kofa walk and it's along the cliff edge and a little out of path. Let's see how we get on. It's very exciting. Well what a walk. This is we've gone off with about 100 foot up now. There's a castle through there. And this little walk looks like out of Lord of the Rings clinging onto the side of the cliff which goes straight down to the water there straight down no barriers no slippy rocks what a place I don't know how far this goes. It's good. It's a bit scary. <coughs> Just amazed at this footpath. I don't know if the council would have kittens if you had to do this now. You have to make this now. No hands here. 50 rocks, public footpath. It's going all the way around these cliffs. You 
can't even see where it's going to go next. Quite well defined, but I don't know where it's going when we get to this bit here because we'll be right by the sea. The tide's riding. Oh, steep cliffs above us. And paths. Not too far down there, it's only 20 other foot, 30 foot. But, looks a oh, wet and slippy. It's a bit, a bit scary in places. I wouldn't want to be doing it in the dark, one after a beer. That's for certain. Oh, this bit looks scary. Coming to the, the cliff. Don't know where. I've got all my giddy hands. Definitely something out of Lord of the Rings is. So wait to see some monster or other come around the corner. Talking with which. Where's Kaz gone? Talking of monsters. It's come on, hon. Slippy. Slippy on these guys. No, don't, don't slip that way. You'll be swimming. Here, Look at places. Oh, pattern. That's dead shallow. If I remember by boat, a good place to fish. Rocks. Oh my god. Well you get the idea, we'll carry on. Well we're stopping here. The footpath does go right the way over to those mountains in the background all along this bay. But it's going. We're going back now. It's raining. Not a bullshit. We're gonna go back and have a drink. Right. Tide must be full in now. The castle's a natural island again. There we are, we're back from our amazing walk. So here we are towards the end of the treacherous walk. And we went along the cliffs, a couple of hundred feet up around. But luckily someone's put some foam on the gate. So I don't bang my head on the way out, cracking the uh, health and safety. And then you go to that <laughs> smashing. Well, that's the walk we've just been on. The silver walk. If there's a better walk in Scotland than that, show me, I'd love to go. <laughs> 